Good afternoon. I'd like to uh, do a quick video for you where I'm going to show you how to remove colour from um, images in um, Photoshop. So this is going to be quite a quick one. First thing I'm going to do is share my screen with you and we will work on a this image here. So as you can see it's quite a colourful image. Um, there are two ways well, there's more than one way to skin a cat when it comes to removing colour um, in terms of Photoshop. But this is a couple of really easy ones designed, spe you know, especially for people that do KDP, because this is going to really help you with that. So I've picked this picture because it's got very nicely defined dark lines in it, but it's also got quite a lot of colour. So this is a good one to practice with. The first thing I always like to do is duplicate my layer. So because, you know, Photoshop, you want to work non-destructively. So you here in your layers panel, you right click on the image and duplicate layer. You can name it. I don't because I'm lazy. But now we I've switched off the bottom layer because I don't want to interfere with it and I don't want to damage it in any way. Um, and I don't want to do anything to it that I can't reverse. So I that's the point of doing a background copy. So the first tool I'm going to show you is um, over here. It's called the magic wand tool. It's the one, two, three, fourth down in the menu, as you can see it. And with this tool, what you can do is click entire color sections and just press delete. And that will get rid of all color in a specific section. Um, you can change the tolerance up here which will allow it to take colors that are quite similar to each other and select them at the same time. But it is still a two step process. You have to um, select the color, then delete it, select the color, then delete it. And you can carry on and just do this all, right, all the way around. Um, and the same thing goes for the background. So if, you, if I click just like that, you'll see now all of the little marching ant lines. So it's going to delete the lighter color and leave all of the slightly darker purple dots, which, you know, you then have to then go and, and delete those one at a time. Or if you are, if I hit um, undo, you can also click on one of the dots, for instance, and it will add them to the selection that I'm doing. It's worked out that I actually want both of the, the dark purple dots and the light purple background to go. So when I hit delete now, it should all disappear. So just by clicking on three or four of those dots, Photoshop worked out actually she wants all of this purple to go away. So let me take it out for her. OK, and you can carry on doing this. And eventually, once you've deleted all of the color, you will have a completely clear picture with just your black outlines and you're away. So that's one way. So if I turn off that layer and put another layer in, because again, I don't want to damage this layer. So I duplicate the layer again. And I'll switch off the bottom layer. So this time around, we're gonna use a slightly different tool. Now, everyone knows that there's an eraser tool, but a lot of people miss the fact that there are, um, there's also the magic eraser tool which I really like. The magic eraser tool I prefer to the um, other magic eraser because it is more of a one click system. So as you can now see, if you look on the screen, I have got a, a little eraser icon with little magic dots around it. And by this one, I can literally just do one click and disappear all of the color you can set it to a tolerance level, which allows it to recognize that you want colors within a certain range to disappear. So it not only took out the purple background, but it also took out the purple dots, the darker purple dots, because my tolerance is quite high. And it already worked out that I was saying, okay, anything that's purplish needs to go outside of the black lines. Um, you can also use this this eraser tool quite usefully on things like scans. Quite often, if I'm doing a drawing um, and I want to use it for KDP, then I will scan it in. I'll draw it on paper because I, I like to draw on paper and I will scan it in. And as you know, paper has often got little dots on it. It's got little imperfections. So it shows up as different colours in a scan. So you don't want to see that in a finished article. 
So let me see, show, you, show you what I mean. Right, I've picked this picture. This is just a scan and it is literally just a black outlines on white. But the paper here in the background is probably got little imperfections. In fact, this one's actually really quite clear, so it might not be as useful an example. But I have another example that I can also show you. So again, duplicate the back layer. And again, we are going to use the magic eraser tool. And just by clicking and dragging my eraser down slightly, you can see that it's picked up all of the white in those sections. So if you've got slight grays in your white or little dots in your white, this is a good way of making sure that all of the white up until the black lines gets taken away just by hold, clicking down, holding and dragging your eraser brush down slightly. That does the trick. Um, as, and as you can see, if I continue doing this, I will end up with a really nice um, black outline picture that has got no white in it and that is then really useful for putting on as overlays over other colors <clears throat> and again that's a, another thing you can use to create different effects different looks and to reuse the same graphics over and over and over again to create more of a library for yourself of of assets you can use to create your books I will do um, a, another video showing how to do the overlays, um, but this one was purely about colour. This is the other picture that I, I uploaded because I thought this one would be more useful. As you can see, there's slightly grey lines in the background here. Yep, yeah, and slightly grey touches, which is the paper that I was using. Um, and the magic eraser, the beauty of the magic eraser, is as I have run the magic eraser down the page, you can see it's seen all of that gray, all of those spare lines, and said, right, it's within the 45 percent, 45 point tolerance that she set, so we're going to take it all out. And the same thing will happen if I do the same thing in the middle here. So eventually, if you've done this correctly, you will end up with a picture that is now perfect for using on top of other colors um on top of using on 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 any um, pattern background that you choose to overlay onto i can now use this because it is cleaned out of all of the the white that i've touched on so I hope you can see that that's uh, quite a handy way of doing things. So don't lose your little magic eraser. Do use it because it's really useful. Um, and I hope that's been of some assistance. Thanks for watching.